Guys, we have a new competitor for Sora and it's called Keeling. Based on a deep understanding of text to video semantics and the powerful capabilities of the diffusion transformer architecture, it can produce incredibly realistic AI videos comparable to Sora. They claim it can generate up to 2 minutes of video in full HD at 30 FPS. Let's look at some examples. The first video is about a Chinese boy wearing glasses enjoying a cheeseburger with his eyes closed in a fast food restaurant. The realism is striking, from the boy's mouth movements to the crumbs around his mouth and his hands. Here's another example featuring a Chinese man eating noodles with chopsticks at a table. However, the left index finger of the man glitches. Other than that, the bowl of noodles and the man's eating motions look realistic. Now, see this video of a giant panda playing guitar by a lake. It shows realistic light reflections on the guitar, detailed panda fur, and water ripples. In another video clip, a little white rabbit wearing glasses sits in a cafe, reading a newspaper with a cup of hot coffee on the table. Keling also generates a hand pouring milk from a steel frother into a coffee cup against a blurred kitchen background. The realism in the milk flow and the background details is notable. Another clip shows two flowers blooming against a black background, accurately capturing the delicate petals and stamens. A video of a car driving on a road during sunset looks realistic at first sight. However, if you look closely, you can notice some flaws with straight lines, a common issue in video generators. I also think the sunset appears both in front of and behind the driver at the same time. Another example is an astronaut running on the moon's surface with minor hand inconsistencies. It would be more realistic if dust came off the astronaut's feet. A man riding a horse through the Gobi Desert at sunset showcases movie quality realism with detailed sand dust and horse movements. A rally car taking a fast turn on a track remains consistent despite minor edge deformations. A chef chopping onions in the kitchen shows detailed reflections on the knife and cutting board. In another video, milk is carefully poured into a cup, showing its distinct movement characteristics compared to other liquids. A Lego man visiting an art gallery moves faster than typical Sora videos, which often appear in slow motion. A white cat driving a car through a busy downtown street demonstrates Kaling's ability to consistently handle complex scenes with traffic and pedestrians. I also like how the cat keeps turning its ears slightly, paying attention to the traffic, better than most Uber drivers. A macro shot of a volcano erupting in a coffee cup showcases Kaling's creativity, generating scenes not based on real-life videos but imagined effects. Other prompts that Keeling handles well are a couple walking under a starry sky and a chimney at sunset with smooth transitions and realistic movements. Another example is a close-up of dew on blue rose petals. There is a minor inconsistency with a moving leaf, but otherwise the overall scene and details look realistic. Thanks to efficient training infrastructure, extreme inference optimization, and scalable infrastructure, the Kaling large model can generate videos in up to 2 minutes. For example, here's a 2 minute video of a little boy riding his bike through the changing seasons. The transitions and consistency in details like sunlight and objects beside the road are impressive, but I can see that some stuff from the videos keeps morphing everywhere. The bicycle also doesn't have pedals. Unlike older video generators like Runway and Pika Labs, which struggle with high movement or action scenes, Kaling excels in this area, offering more possibilities. Here's another example of a 2-minute video. The prompt is, take a train and see a variety of scenery through the window. Kaling adopts a variable resolution training strategy, allowing it to output various video aspect ratios for the same content. To explore these videos from Kaling, visit their website, which I will include in the video's description. Based on self-developed 3D face and body reconstruction technology, combined with background stability and redirection modules, Kelling can generate vivid singing and dancing videos with only a full-body photo. 
Unfortunately, access is currently limited to users in China. Plus, you will need a Chinese phone number to join their waitlist. While Killing appears promising based on demo videos, we will know its full potential once it's publicly available and we can test it ourselves. So take these video presentations with a big grain of salt until you get your hands on it. That wraps up our look at Keeling and its capabilities. Can Keeling rival OpenAI's Sora? Share your thoughts in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe for more AI insights. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.